This was pretty cool. I wanted to try some really fine aluminum cutting for some key tags, some keychains. And this is just inexpensive aluminum bar stock from the hardware store. And as far as the end mills go, these were bought on eBay, really inexpensive, very, very tiny. I think this pack of five, I broke one, one is on the router right now. And I think this was about 12 or 13 bucks. These are very inexpensive. And they are super, super tiny. But the trick to these, and the trick to not breaking them, is to slow your feed rate down considerably. So to get these really fine cuts, I had to go extremely slow. Somewhere around two or three inches per minute. So this little cut took over an hour but it came out really, really clean. Whenever I tried to increase the feed rate, I would just snap off the end of the, the end mill. But you can get some really nice results with this 3040 CNC. And the line, like in the symbol right there, is really, really tight. So what we did, set it up in Inkscape, sent it to JS Cut, and sent it to Mock. So the little cutter here went around there, we had a couple tabs, and then cut it out. So for this tag, real simple, went online, found a logo we wanted to use, did a screen snip, brought it into Inkscape, and before we can do anything in Inkscape we need to turn it into a bitmap trace. So we would go there, then we've got our image, this is going to fit onto that thin aluminum stock. Save this as an SVG. These are our tabs. This is our holder for a keychain, a little hole through there. Moved over and opened up in JS Cut. Really great free program. We can see our design here. Look around the back and see our tabs. Very slow right now, so we're going with a 0.2, actually not a 0.2, but a 2 inch per minute feed rate, very slow. We'll save this and open it up in mock. We've got this set up and ready to go with that very, very small end mill. Because those end mills are so delicate, even though they're sharp, they're very brittle. So to cut these out is extremely slow. If I was using a V-bit, we could go much quicker, but to square out Parts of the aluminum, it just has to go very slow. This is going at two inches per minute. You can hardly see it moving, but you can see the knob turning on the end of the stepper motor. That finishes the cut, so let's go ahead and vacuum that out and see how it looks. After a real fast vacuum, cuts look pretty clean. So there's today's cut. This one came out pretty good, pretty clean. Lines look pretty good. And then this was the one from the other day. So again, the trick with this is to go really slow with the feed rate, do shallow cuts, set up the machine, let it do its thing, and just disappear for an hour or two while it's cutting everything out. Pretty cool. Thanks very much for taking a look.